as long as the air is still immature, they keep on living in those beautiful houses and you are renting in other, in other small houses. Yeah. They are there. You can't pray them out. Only maturity can deliver your house from them. They have been placed there by God to keep it until you mature. Why? Because, because you, some of you would say, ah, so why is God giving it to them? And yet they are not mature. God doesn't care. If, if it kills them, he doesn't care. But because he loves you, he wouldn't want you to enter into any danger. He would rather give it to somebody who is immature. Let them die as a result of all that prosperity. But as for you, God is saying, until you mature, you can't inherit it. Until the time appointed of the father, the father there is the owner, the one in charge. He appoints a specific time. And he says, unless you show signs of maturity, I will not give it to you. I will not give it to you. I will not give it to you. Show signs of maturity. Time. Waiting for God's time. Waiting for God's time. There is no need for a person. If a person is sick today, I don't see any reason why the person should wait for tomorrow. If the person who was sick for five years come into church and all of a sudden you pray for the person receives a miracle. It wasn't God's time that he was waiting for. Healing was waiting for his maturity. There are things that are already given. Though you, you, you are Lord over all. You have everything. Healing, miracles, anything that you can think of. You are Lord over everything, but for it to be given to you, there has to be maturity. There has to be maturity. You have taken so much from the other world, and now you believe the devil more than you believe God. What you're taking in now is just like when you feel pain in your body. When there is pain in your body. Because I've seen people doing that. They try everything. Run from this place to another. Trying to get rid of the devil that they have swallowed. There's a devil inside and they know there's a devil. They're looking for a place where they can get delivered. Hmm. You have hundreds and hundreds of men of God laying their hands on you. But still, you differ not from a servant. Because I've never seen any kind of maturity that comes as a result of laying on of hands. I'm here to see that one. Maturity. <laughs> if you want to mature, eat the right food. Eat the right food. Look at this. When pain enters into your body, look at this. To get rid of that pain, you don't do like this. Mm. Let, let, me, let me try to push it out. You don't. All the methods, if you try to put pressure on your body, still the pain will not leave. What you can do, <laughs> if the pain is inside, you have to swallow something that goes also inside. You swallow medication. And the moment medication enters, pain leaves. So pain will remain there until something drops. Pain is 
there waiting for medication to come. And pain is saying, once I see, once I see medication coming, I, 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 I have to go. That's exactly how you deal with the devil. He's inside. You, you will never be free from the devil until information gets in. Yeah. It is the information that you receive that will chase out the devil. The devil cannot withstand wisdom. He cannot withstand sound teaching. But prayer, he can, he can withstand. Prayer, anointing. He stands, the devil himself, he appears in the presence of God. He can appear and stand there and be answering questions, conversing with God. What anointing are you talking about? You will never get rid of the devil. What frustrates him? He can never share the same accommodation with information. The word of God. I was sharing the word of God some other time with my wife here and I was talking about what the scripture says and when the scripture says, when the son of man sets you free, you are free indeed. So we we're enjoying the word of God. I was saying, look at this. You see the Bible saying, when the son of man sets you free, you are free indeed. And I said to her, there is a free with a surname called indeed. Which means there are other frees which are not indeed. Listen to me. They are, listen to me. Listen to me. Get this. <laughs> if I, listen to me, I can do that. You know that that power is available. If we are going to spend the whole night delivering people here, we are setting people free, but not indeed. Listen, if you hear the Bible say, if, it's a condition there, or when the Son of Man sets you free, you are free indeed. Indeed. Why indeed? Which means so many things that we look at and we think it's deliverance. It's never deliverance. You will still see the same people. There is no difference between them and servants. Hello? Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> if you go back and you read, do you know the Bible says there, and Stephen did wonders and miracles, outstanding ones before the people. But there came a time, the Bible says, when they could not withstand his wisdom and his speech. And it was because of his teachings that they killed him. Not miracles. They were never irritated by his miracles. It's there. They could not withstand the power of his speech. When he speaks, after doing miracles, after healing the sick, after, after raising the dead, after deliverance, casting out demons, they were enjoying all that. But the moment he started getting into teaching, they could not withstand. It was too powerful more than any kind of a miracle. They said, we can't have this. So that tells you what the devil fears the most. Teaching information, that's the medicine that you require. Is it because we can't do miracles? Name it. Not only did you make our miracle, you are going to eat it. I was telling some pastors some few days ago that you read your Bible carefully. You see every time when Paul got an opportunity, he got an opportunity to stand before Festus. He got an opportunity to stand before Felix. An opportunity to stand before 
Augustus, before Agrippa, every time when Paul got an opportunity to stand, they would ask him to speak and not to do a miracle. They would say, we want to hear. Why? Because all those people were kings. Because hearing is for kings. And deliverance is for servants. Do you know that a sure sign that most of us, most of us, or even most, not most of you, in fact, most of them, <laughs> when you always feel like you need deliverance, it's a sure sign that you are a slave, you are in bondage. That's true, you need deliverance. It's not a lie. If you always feel like you have a demon, it's a sure sign that you are still in captivity. And I gave them a scripture that says, for a very long time, Israel had no teaching priest. And because of that, there was no peace in Israel. There was great vexation. <laughs> because there was no teaching priest in Israel. So there was no peace. And there was a great vexation. Why vex? Can you see it? For how long? It's time. You see time there. For a very long season. <laughs> Why people were broke for a very long time? Even 50 years after they got born again. For a very long season, people were broke. Why? Because there was no deliverance priest. Professor and priest. There was no teaching priest. And without law. 